My name is Elvis Wesley, uh, Reggie Wesley. And I'm from uh, Glenville, Chickadaw. Uh, my kitchen name is uh, Lachanisham Get. Um, it's a mountain man in Hamswa. Same. I'm a hunter, chopper, fisherman. Um, I do all all the um, outside uh, activities. Um, I uh, keep myself busy with, um, with myself um, doing whatever needs to be done. Yeah. I was like maybe 11, 10 years old when I started doing trapping with my dad. And uh, we go the long hikes, like maybe 60, 70 miles hike, because we have like tons of uh, traps. That's how I learned uh, doing trapping, because uh, my dad taught me all sorts of. Uh, um, a lot of um, trapping, hunting, and fishing. Living with my grandmother for when I was young, like I was maybe five, five years old when I was living with her. Yeah. Uh, she taught me a lot of, um, a lot of stuff and That's how I, like, every time I usually go to bed early when <laughs> evening, like, nine, get up early and do stuff. Like, a lot of other, um, like, we do fishing. We go down and check our net with my Great grandpa. Yeah, he teach me a lot of um, a lot of um, knowledge about our kitchen and how to preserve everything. GB, a coined ball reserve. And I was born and raised there, and, and, um, in summertime, we usually go to our camp, where we do our preserving, half dry, dry fish, and moose hunting, and, and go berry picking with my uncles and I was with them. I grew up with a lot of uh, families, but they're all passed on. And, but I'm still carrying on with uh, teaching uh, young ones how to do hunting, fishing. Trapping. When we were growing up, um, everything was all hard labor, was no electric or anything. <laughs> that was um, pretty hard. That there was no no lights or any kind of um, uh, what do you call it? like pushing buttons or having any cell phone. Nowadays they have everything. And everything is all different. 
uh, I had my wife uh, met her when we were at that at our cabin. Yeah. I guess um, when I was maybe eight eight years old when I met her. She, And uh, when one day she left, and she was young and younger than me, <laughs> but uh, she was eyeballing me quite a lot. And <laughs> but then I haven't seen her for like till I turned 21. I was. I've seen her again, and that's when we started going together. My father had taught me numerous things, such as respect and love for others. And he also taught me how to preserve and uh, live off of the land. like trapping, hunting, fishing, how to preserve the, the fish, the berries, anything we get every season. As soon as I was about five years old, my father, my father and my mother both taught me how to do all of these things, cut fish, pick berries, and, and he, they also taught me how to mushroom pick. I went mushroom picking when I was six years old with my parents. Yeah, my father taught me how to actually properly pick mushrooms and he got me to haul them out myself too. <laughs> I'm super proud to learn all of these things um, and have the knowledge to teach my children because I have seven children of my own. And teaching them what my parents, what my father had taught me growing up was amazing work. Like everything, all of our traditional things that we learned growing up my parents, after residential school, they, they turned to substance use and like alcohol and stuff. They, they turned to that to numb their pain of everything they went through. And after that, they quit drinking and they tried to bring back their knowledge and everything that they went through. They try to numb that pain and just teach all of their children, which is the seven of us. My parents, my father, they, they overcame everything and they, they definitely um, had the strength to keep going and keep their knowledge going and keep teaching everything they knew growing up before they went to residential school and and so afterwards after going to residential school they they made sure that their kids and their grandkids till this day my father is still teaching he's still teaching his grandkids he teaches us how to trap and how to skin furs yeah. it's just an amazing feeling watching watching my kids connect with my father and them teaching or them learning how to do all of this wonderful traditional stuff that he's learned growing up and him keeping it strong. Keep this knowledge going, keep the traditional teachings going. Get the kids out there fishing, hunting, berry picking. Keep them going, keep them busy with outdoor stuff. Yeah. I'm definitely happy and I'm proud to uh, be the daughter of Elvis Reggie Wesley. 
I'm definitely proud of that. Knowing where he came from, what he's been through, I'm definitely proud of everything that he's accomplished so far. And I'm also very proud that he's still here and he's still going strong teaching our traditional ways uh, to my children and all his other grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I want to say to my dad, thank you for everything. And I know it's been tough without mom. It's been a few years, but I'm very proud of him. Well, of you. I'm very proud of you, Dad, for being who you are. Always strong, always laughing, trying to make everybody laugh. And for being there for all of us kids and your grandkids and your great-grandkids. Thank you. And we love you with all our heart.